Hi, I'm Jack from Crate and Pratt. This poem is called Unholy. I was raised on rosaries and prayer services, making the sign of the cross and saying amen, confessing my sins, receiving the Holy Spirit in the form of an oily forehead. When I was 13, I was afraid because I didn't pay much attention to girls. I cried and begged God to make me different. I chanted, I praised, I knelt. All that did was make my knees bleed. The wine smelled like tears and the Eucharist tasted like hypocrisy. Stop drowning me in holy water. They said I would go to hell, but I was already there. No need for fire and brimstone when there were homophobes armed with Bibles and slurs. They said my feelings were unnatural, but God would forgive me. God was merciful, God was good, God was loving. Tell me, did God want me to change? If God didn't make mistakes, then what was I? Being homophobic and homosexual aren't mutually exclusive, thanks to the church. They said Jesus came for the oppressed, for the poor and vulnerable. Were my ancestors not vulnerable? When propaganda was shoved down their throats, burned into their eyes? The brave men and women who came before me, dying in conversion camps, souls bled from their bodies, jumping from windows with lead in their heads when they didn't pull the trigger. Martyrs bleeding rainbows. As if electroshock therapy could rewire humans' identity, they had their rights pried from their fingers, hands clamped over their mouths, arms bound, electrodes imprinted on their skin, electricity instead of blood flooding through their bodies. Imagine. The shock vibrates in your skull and pulses through your veins, setting your nerves on fire, caressing your brain in the vivid blue halo with sparks and thunders in your bones, creating a rhythm of screams and tears, a song whose lyrics taste like lightning. I don't go to church anymore. I gave up on God when he didn't answer my prayers, but I walk through the halls of a Catholic school on edge every moment. I sit at my desk, told I'm not allowed to marry, what I do with the one I love is not what God had intended. Every kiss, a rebellion, every stolen glance, a heresy. Slurs spill out of mouths like holy water, uttered like greetings or fast food orders. So casually spoken, I become numb to the meaning. <sighs> my body's permeated with sacrilege, gray matter slick with impure thoughts. My skin, you said, was holy. Unholy fingers not fit for sanctified gestures stay folded and frozen. The sign of the cross is a symbolic surrender, and I am done surrendering. Woo!